Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you the Enigma S8 version 4 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy J7 2015. So without wasting more time, let's start directly. So uh, I recommend you to install the latest TRP so it will work more fastly. Just reboot into recovery. If you know how to reboot into recovery directly, just go to advanced power menu if you are using any ROM and just reboot here into recovery. So and for uh, new users, those who are using it uh, first time and everything, I will show you. Just power off your device like this. After it power off, just press the uh, home button, the volume up button and the power button. At the same time, until you hear a vibration, haptic feedback, okay. I will decrease the brightness first of all. Okay, is this okay? Oh, this is well good. Now you can see the DRB menu. Just go to backup and you can see everything. I will backup everything because I was from a very different ROM and I will select storage as micro SD card. And I will just swipe to backup here. Now just go to wipe and here you need to wipe everything. If you have taken a backup, I always uh, do clean install because it reduces problems. Now just go to install and here you can see Enigma version 4. So uh, you need to save it in SD card or SD card only. And now you can see the Enigma version 4 zip and the S Cloud screen recorder and on quick settings. Okay, the flashing this zip will have add-on of screen recorder on your quick settings and settings for clo uh, four stop close. Okay, now let's go in. Backup EFS Okay, this uh, will take some time and yeah, talking about this ROM, the zip file uh, is like 900 MB, 960 MB nearly and yeah, it's like not a heavy ROM but this time all the bugs are fixed because not some changes like UI changes are here and uh, not like great changes but it's totally stable and now no uh, bugs are here and the charging bug has been fixed so great thanks special thanks to the developer Alush I will create a new ROMs in the future just wait for it I won't skip this because I want to let you know how much time it takes so just I will keep quiet now Okay, 99% and when it will become 100 uh, It's pouring like on 99 we are waiting Just to complete the century I am anyways boring so <laughs> Okay Okay, finishing installation. Oh, it's complete just unclick this and go to next now let the mods also flash okay so the mods also flash just reboot system and uh, okay if you are using the latest TRP this will prompt you so I won't I do not install if you want to install it and if you use this as a daily driver I am not decided that if I want to use this as my daily driver But yeah, when I was testing this ROM, it was really perfect for a daily use because battery drop was also reduced and great because this is a heavy ROM, you can see battery drainage in some less quantity now. Okay, so good. The uh, boot animation is fast. Sorry for this uh, dark, dark area because of the... I don't know why these cameras... What happens? Okay, so... Uh, this is the boot animation. Now I will skip the uh, video and we will directly meet at the home screen. So as you can see guys, the ROM is booted up. Now just zip. And as you can see the lock screen was pretty good and fast. And it's using the S8 clock widget and the new icons too. 
and yeah new icons fully asset icons the clock is now themed the calendar icon is themed as secret icon is themed as voice is too themed and uh, voice record is also the new one from the s8 you can see here the voice recorder the music player and the internet beta with uh, like very limited like no changes some content uh, addition is there so we'll look upon okay galaxy app has remained same so i thought there will be something more interesting about it so the most interesting things about this rom is uh, like sound and vibration only the connections is nothing here Okay, I will already, uh, increase some brightness. The screen screen flickering has st starting on my device. Let's go to sound and vibration. I hope you can see this. Thanks. And just going to ringtone, we can see the new S8 stock ringtone. Let's play it. It's the over the horizon. Over the horizon we get from the S3 and various devices. And now it's the uh, like third or fourth version and it's the Nougat version and here we can go to notification sounds and we can see iOS 10 sounds and alerts added. So these sounds are very good and loud so for a Samsung device they are pretty perfect and now we'll go to settings and just see the uh, device maintenance. And just go to check the RAM of this phone. I will clear everything and see how many MB we get. I'm expecting like 480 or 490 MB. Okay, 408 MB. So that's a good thing. It saves much better. The RAM performance is very well. And uh, okay, not many things have been changed. Okay, I have showed you the uh, sounds. Sounds are very great, pretty great now. Going to advanced features. Uh, okay, see, you can get these options. Multi window is also present. And nearly all apps are on the multi window. And calendar from the S7 Nougat. Everything has got S voice also from the S7 only. I think like change themes dialer and everything is same okay okay some things in the messaging app i found some different like the icons so great and over here we get this uh, blue light filter these are not working the blue light filter and this uh, smart view i have not tested just test it and tell me uhq upscaler is working it was not working in some roms like S power planning is also there. I will uh, show you about it in the battery settings here. Just go to a device maintenance. It's a very good feature. It was present on the J7 Prime. Okay, I will just zoom some of the video. And you can see the S power planning, the reserve battery for calls, action battery time. So we get this in newer devices like the A7 and everything, the 2017 version, C9 Pro, A9 Pro. And now we can enjoy these features too. Okay, these are software features and can be ported by developers. And clock is also old one, but pretty quick it is. So from the S7, but still working really good. That's better. S secure, we get old one only. So the secure folder is not present because as you can see, Nox is tripped anyway. And here we have home screen settings. Now the experimental feature of show all, all apps on home screen. Is now a stable one and see all apps are on the home screen so we can have a fluid experience and RAM management is also present I will just take a look at camera interface it's totally the same one the camera is totally same okay as you can see we'll take something to take pictures and I will let you know that it's fully working great so okay photos always come great with this camera because it's j7 and here you can also observe mods every mods are here aqua mod is only for those active devices but j7 active is not present in india i think j7 active is not a phone 
okay active devices are with the active key waterproof and fully yeah my favorite one is deep and i will click a picture with it good yeah deep is the favorite of mine as uh, more light conditions but photos with this filters come really well and good so yeah okay camera testing and everything is over just will front camera is also very impressive here's my face okay i'm not like without face continuous shot okay yeah animated gif doesn't work on the selfie side it goes like a blackout and now we can see you i found a way out filters are present also yeah so no more camera changes we can see okay so this was the review of the enigma s8 rom so i hope you like this uh liked this video so please press the like button and if you dislike this video so please press the dislike button and send feedback in the comment section about this rom too so yeah and yeah any comments about this or any help regarding the installation any comments on the ui and everything you can post it in the xda uh, link below you can post it there uh, or also comment down below in the section if you're not in xd in the comment section if you're not on xd i will post it for you and yeah subscribe for more videos if you want more videos on j7 and other samsung devices so goodbye for today we'll meet in a new video okay this is going to be lengthy so bye bye